तो बार बार मोह दीजियो तो श्री वृंदावन को राधे तिर चरणों की हर पग धूल जो मिल जाए श्यामा तिर चरणों की पग धूल जो मिल जाए तो सच कहता हूँ और तकदीर बदल जाए राधे तेरे चरणों की सुनते हैं तेरी रहमत दिन रात बरसती है वो सुनते हैं तेरी रहमत दिन रात बरसती है वो एक बूंद जो मिल जाए दिल की कली खिल जाए राधे तिर चरणों की पग धूल जो मिल जाए तो सच कहता हूँ तकदीर बदल जाए राधे तिर चरणों की पग धूल जो मिल जाए हरे कृष्णा एंड वेलकम to the ashram of Dorvasamuni, our place of visitation today. The wonderful thing about going to the ashram of Dorvasamuni is that we always go up the Jamuna by boat. This boat ride to Dorvasamuni's ashram is one of the highlights of our Kartik Purpurama. It is a nice opportunity for the devotees to get away from the sounds of car horns and the rickshaws always in the path and be on the Jamuna Devi herself, appreciating the wonderful pastimes that Krishna enacted here over 5,000 years ago. Reaching our hands into the sacred Jamuna water, we're able to take that water and sprinkle it on our heads and purify ourselves as we approach the ashram of Durvasamuni. It's about a one hour ride in the boat down the Jamuna, to which one gets to see many of the different pilgrimage places which we enjoy very much. Arriving at the ashram of Durvasamuni, it is very pleasantly situated on the cliffs overlooking the Jamuna River as it flows down towards Vrindavan. Standing on these cliffs amongst the banyan trees and the shade trees of Durvasa's ashram, one gets a feeling for why Durvasa would have picked such a place as this to execute his pastimes and austerities. Very, very wonderful, quiet, peaceful place where one can enjoy the old style of what Vrindavan was like many, many, many years ago, and in some cases, hundreds of years ago. श्यामा तेरे चरणों की उपग धूल जो मिल जाए तो सच कहता हूँ और तकदीर बदल जाए राधे तेरे चरणों की सुनते हैं तेरी रहमत दिन रात बरसती है वो सुनते हैं तेरी रहमत दिन रात बरसती है वो एक बूंद जो मिल जाए दिल की कली खिल जाए राधे तेरे चरणों की पग धूल जो मिल जाए तो सच कहता हूँ तकदीर बदल जाए राधे तेरे चरणों की पग धूल जो मिल जाए at the ashram of Durvasamuni, there's a very fierce deity of Durvasamuni with fire-like eyes because he is one that is not to be crossed. There are many pastimes of Durvasamuni's kindness, such as when he gave Srimati Radharani the benediction that everything she cooked would be just like nectar, and many opportunities to read about Durvasamuni's cursing, such as when he inappropriately cursed Ambarish Maharaj for nothing more than taking a little bit of water. For this act, of course, we know from Srimad Bhagavatam, he was chased throughout the entire three planetary systems by none other than the Sudarshan Chakra of Lord Vishnu himself. 
running to this personality and that personality, begging for mercy, even to Lord Vishnu himself. Lord Vishnu reminded him, you cannot get my mercy and forgiveness because you have offended my devotee. Therefore, if you want the forgiveness, you have to go to my devotee you have offended. In this way, Jorvasamuni's pastimes are not only a direct example how not to offend devotees, but a direct example of how to make up for such offense by going to that devotee and begging for their mercy. <laughs> So these pastimes, we very much relish speaking about at the ashram of Devasamuni. There is one banyan tree there, which is said to be many thousands of years old. And in that banyan tree are many beautiful parrots that follow in the footsteps of Sukha and Sari and speak about the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Also at that spot are some very, very big monkeys. But these monkeys are quite mellow and they don't bother most of the devotees there. They like to languish in the tree branches above the places where we speak and hear these pastimes as we talk to them. So for the devotees, this is one of our favorite places and it's very, very much shaded. So even if it's a hot Vrindavan day, you don't feel any distress. And if you feel too much distress, there's always the opportunity to just jump into the Jamuna and cool oneself off. So in this way, we very much appreciate coming to the ashram of Durvasa Muni, speaking about his pastimes and remembering the activities of all the personalities of Vrindavan. And in this way, making our perfect time here at the Kartik Parikram 2017. These are the reasons that on our Parikramas we go to all these various holy places, not simply as a tourist for the sake of going this place and that place, but while at those places to take the dust of that place on our head and hear the pastimes from the saintly persons that are with us. In this way, we perfect our life and Prabhupada's instruction that we should come to these places once a year and purify ourselves. Thank you very much. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Vrindavan Dham. Hare Krishna.